Happy New Year! Let yeah. me tell you something. Have you seen the gunk that was in the tissues I had earlier? You'd <laughs> argue differently. Like I, you can't get the flu in <laughs> <laughs> up. The guy's giving a full bust face for every chew. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just two chews in a bust. <laughs> Turns around, loaf of bread, <coughs> curls one out, nah. slaps it together, eats it. No Lambo's worth eating your own yet for. No way. She beat my dick. <laughs> In the back of the sprinter. <laughs> Someone will make a beat out of it. <laughs> she beat mm. my dick at the back of the sprinter. <laughs> Fuck you, aren't they? So aggressive, they don't start. They, they don't make them like they used to. No. You couldn't, you wouldn't see Drake out there being like, Break your fucking neck, you. Break your fucking neck, bitch. <laughs> Drizzy isn't about that. Drizzy is not. He's a soft boy. He is. He's an emotional right <laughs> yeah. That's his next album. Sang in the love songs. Strictly for my emotional wee critters. Break your fucking neck is right. That's the kind of energy we're coming into the new year with. We need it. We need it today. Guys, it's a new year. Fucking get the peace wash and let's attack it. What date is this going out now? First. The first! We hit 2024 like a sack of spots. Fucking right. <laughs> Cares pinks, nothing less. Cares pinks, Break nothing your fucking bank. Bag of roosters to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shout out to the Bartlett family. Uh, make your fucking neck, weren't they? A spud to the head. A big bag of spuds just dropped on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the IRA used to do you in, in fucking the 1800s. Curb stomp you with a bag of spuds. <laughs> nah, they wouldn't be wasting that sort of carry on. Boys, what kind of year do you make of this 2023? Uh, disaster. All counts? D- disaster. I mean, what are you talking? A couple of world wars, you know? I have a shirt here. You know, yeah, car- they but, load. Endless footage of fucking children being murdered. Yep. Uh, what else? Bad way to start the day, though. Farage's hole in the jungle. Uh, they get the ass. What do you think? What do you think of this year? You see, you're the worst guy to ask ever because you're you're in the bubble. Yeah, the, the, the vape shop. Don't call it that. Guys, get on over to patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod to unlock a fucking box of shit. There's a big old box of shit over there. If you've heard how many episodes have we done now? Forty. Forty. If 40. you've heard. <laughs> If you've heard forty, if you've heard forty episodes, there'll be forty bonus episodes on there. Yeah, you know, treat yourself for the new year. Uh, and if you go in at fucking uh, what's the headliner price? Ten pounds. Nice. Ten pounds. Uh, you can submit questions to the podcast that will definitely get answered. Flex on these hoes. Round the button check. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. What are you going to do in Tyrone? Nothing. Looking at that stuff you, in your feed. You need to turn the phone off. That's, yeah. that's 2024 uh, resolutions. Yeah. Turn it off to phone. Ignore it all. Yeah. Ignore it all. Get solar panels in your roof. You know, build a big fence around your house. Collect the, grow a load of tins of peas. Yeah. Uh, keep a few chickens. And, uh, yeah. I love how you said I'm living in a bubble like you don't live in English. <laughs> that's the bubble. That's a big old bubble. Uh, I don't, I don't live in it. I live near it. Yeah, I live an even worse of a bubble. The Dungannon Dome, the Dungannon Dome, yeah. the Iron Dome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, not the fucking hot metropolis you live in. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a city slicker compared to you now. Yeah, I love uh, uh, you. You'll call your housing state the park, like it's <laughs> like that's what people like, say. Like there's deer running about it. <laughs> In my park, yeah. In my manor, <laughs> well, there's just fogies, <laughs> fogies, uh, like wild fogies. Retirement, uh, it's like Florida. It, it's it Florida. is basically it is the Florida of Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of racism. At by an alligator. Yeah. Review of the year. Ten seconds. Go ahead. Well, I've got a couple of questions for you. No, Take we'll it from the... that. We'll, we'll, we'll get that later. We'll get that later. He's wild for this. Welcome to the Patreon podcast. Jim <laughs> says, you know, straight into it. Lube these people up. I've been waiting a week for this shit. What'd you have for your Christmas dinner? Anyway, well, the Christmas nah, dinner. No, fuck it, no, 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 gone to the good stuff actually now. Uh, <laughs> Christmas dinner, Jesus is down. I tell you what, Ty. Gifted. Down. Gifted with a steamer. Jesus Christ. Gifted with a steamer? Oh, well. Just steaming your mate? The gammon. Outrageous. Yeah. Fell apart in your mouth like chocolate. 
<laughs> the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <Watch this. laughs> it just fell mm. apart in your mouth like a piece of oh, cat. egg burst in your mouth. Like oh, it. Jesus Christ. And uh, I just. We ended up going pretty hard on Boxing Day, I'm mm. to say. On the pish? The family was getting pushed. Yeah. You know, everyone was talking into it. I got spiked by my brother in law. Yeah. He put brandy in my bellies. And then I thought I'd drink it anyway. Yeah. Worst guaranteed headache. Yeah. If you're drinking brandy and bellies. Aye, but you know, you probably already put the work in. Well, you know. You probably had a, a pile of drinks. The house is fucking 32 degrees. Mm. You know, got the jumper on, sweating, dehydrated. I had a fair few style on now before that. Before we wiped out the yeah, that'll do it. sugary drinks. That'll do it. And Good. then I was in the vape shop the next day at nine. Plenty of sugar and a style of tea, bro. Yeah. You know, hit the... Speaking of the bubbles, hit the pop of the bubble. Yeah. Stella, full of sugar. Uh, yeah, Boxing Day was my big drinking day, which again was like civilized enough. And then, you know, one of those nights where it really takes off at two o'clock. And then we put in like another three hours. Like when I thought it, I put a real dent in that Buffalo Trace, you know, no trace of that Buffalo yeah. left, let me tell you. Uh, and I thought it was civilized enough drinking. And then it just, you know, all, all the parents went to bed. You tipped it over the edge. <laughs> You know, that's when the real party started. You know, and you're like, yeah, I've done my drinking, but let me stay up for three more hours and have like nine, nine beers. Yeah, didn't need it. Didn't need that. Folks smoking indoors, no? People smoking indoors. It was the sixties. Might have, might have hoofed the Manson myself. <laughs> smoking shit. See when you're, see when you're packed full of fucking Nordic spirit uh, chemicals. Yeah, uh, facts. They do nothing to you. Yeah, it doesn't even tickle you. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I'm already having a panic attack. What do I need yeah. this for? Yeah. You fucking joking me? What were you doing? Like, were you just sitting playing tunes or? Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Just slapping about people Yeah I might have been drunk enough Where I would say I don't really like country music yeah. or, or know any music But just Chris Stapleton Some voice on Zach Bryan's a queer man too uh, Is he the gay one? No Alright He's the boy who was in the Navy And then got arrested For my of the police officer Did he? Yeah Mouthing at him? Mouthing at him But jeez he's some mouthing him Oh <laughs> The sounds have come out of it I bet you it sounded good When he was mouthing off at the Ah uh, there was footage of it And I was like Get the fuck <laughs> out of my face Bitch I serve for this country You know That's what he's throwing at him Can I tell you about my Christmas dinner Just so Niall can hear it Yeah You uh, replaced turkey right Huh You didn't do turkey It was the first year You know because obviously We lived down close to Maureen's parents And usually I get involved heavily With uh, some sort of cooking mm -hmm. But I was so busy I just did nothing I just arrived at the house And had it Nice uh, No one gave a fuck about turkey So they just They bought turkey Like It was basically like Turkey slices And then Rolled it up into, I mean, like it was a real turkey slice. It wasn't like fucking like a packet of turkey you buy in a shop. Yeah, no, I do. You know, like actual turkey slice rolled up with stuff and cranberry in it. Uh, right. Fucking cocktail stick through it. Right. Right. But that was just that was just you know to that was just a tick a box. That was a wee novel. No one gave a fuck about the turkey. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, two hams. The mother-in-law did two hams because you know people go hard on the ham Christmas Eve mm -hmm. and there's no ham left for the dinner, so she did two. One was kind of sliced. One was kind of shredded. Yes. Bust central. Sliced and shredded. Fucking hell. Oh, what do you want? That's luxury. What else do you want? And then uh, Maureen's uncle was over. He's a big foodie. You know, lives in England, in the South Downs. Don't even know what that is. Sussex? I don't know. Uh, but, you know, everyone, they're all those like, you know, oh, I'm just wearing an old tattered shirt. Oh, let me let me pull a full side of lamb out of the back of the G-Wagon. You know that sort yeah. of place? Yeah. Uh, and uh, he did a full rib roast that was about that size. And I was like, I was like, how much was that? He's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. I was like, come on. How much was it? It had to have been 300 quid. Like, I, 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 like it was that size, full rib roast, which is... Some rib. Oh, some rib. But this is the bit I got, right? He'd, he'd been, it was lying down there, ribs poking out the side, and then he tipped it up, and he's like watching a YouTube video, like, hey, you got to cut the back off, take the ribs away, and then you can slice the ribs that way. You have a big fucking... Dinosaur rib mm -hmm. <coughs> Covered in soft beef Jesus Christ but The bit that he cut off the bottom Which was just like Big lump of like Shreddy beef That had obviously been on the bottom of the tin All Getting all hard uh -huh. Caramelised That's a bit I had And he just went That's for you And it was about a kilo and a half of beef But all like Crunchy on the top Man, that's and, and, and then soft under it hey, You Rick Ross? Yeah Oh <laughs> That was you getting off the chair that's Big bad. fat <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's the meme all over. Twenty twenty four, you coming to my kind of that, That's the that's the meme all over the internet. Which just it's just what song is that where he's just in the video on a seat and he just turns around, goes big fat and drops the <laughs> Have you seen it? 
<laughs> you guys, you have to see. I'm a, uh, hold on, I bet you have to see. What kind of New Year's resolutions have you got? Yeah, hard hours. I'm letting her loose all year. <laughs> you got to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up the song and you can just play the. <laughs> Uh, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, big load of beef. Aye. Uh, didn't even, didn't even entertain the spuds. Aye. I had beef. You're not aware of the spud man. I had anyway. ham. I had a, a a shovel full of budleys. It's fucking keto. And then I had a bit of cauliflower cheese. Aye. Because someone else has done it. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. That's fucking. That's manners. That's a pain in the hole. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Cauliflower cheese. How did that get in the mix there? Like, like Christmas dinners. Like who who started that? They weren't even so that back in the day. Is it the... Uh... <laughs> anyway, Rabbi. I had a big lock of beef. Aye. Uh, which was very enjoyable. See, I think it's smart to take the turkey out, you know, because the turkey completely fucks it. Uh, yeah, the turkey's still there, basically. The turkey no, is a no, sleeping tablet. Nobody touched the turkey. Whole house faded off the turkey. Christmas Day at our place. And then, did you have a dessert? Oh, my. What'd you have? There was a selection. Uh. I personally went for the sticky toffee pudding. Sweet, yeah. With uh, Pooh Bear's delight ice cream. Oh, uh, for the Come children. On, for, the ch- for the children. Get the comb out. Get the comb out. We what do we have? There was a trifle made. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then again, selection. You can have whatever you wanted. Yeah. You know, there was a bit of ice cream. There was a bit of, uh, you know, even Neve there took all the stock out of the cafe, and just cut all the buns up. Damn. And made that's a, nice. it was just a fucking platter of like, bro. See what that, see whatever that one is with the dark like biscuit battery biscuit base yeah. and then like mint and then it's like got a green sort of swirl on the oh, top oh, me off. bust bust at the table now she made an stp sweet treat platter <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the name of the podcast the sweet treat platter 2024 that's what really, that's actually ideal do you know what Eddie had what plate of chips cup of gravy i tell you what slide that over to me i uh, slide it over <laughs> slide over in that fucking high chair big man two babies two babies he just sat there with a cup of gravy and like a load of skinny fries that were in the air fryer and just was like <laughs> like this like dropping them in that's great yeah he didn't touch the Christmas dinner yeah uh, my nephew uh, he tucked into just a big bowl of spuds mm. and gravy yeah and I could I could have watched and made it all day the, the amount of lying you have to do to kids you know you're like you're like is spuds your favourite food and Ellie's like spuds is my favourite food and then you have to be like grandest favourite foods spuds and he's like yeah mine's fucking Spuds as well. Yeah. I like spuds. And then he keeps eating and going like, look how strong I am. But, it, you know, he doesn't go like this. Like, yeah. he'll, he'll be like, he'll be eating it. And he go, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Straight on. Oh, so down there, Popeye. Just like, feel it. Feel it now. Feel it while I'm eating it. Gains, bro. Mickey does the same to me whenever we go eat it. I know. <laughs> One workout. He's like, feel it. Uh, hey, it is a quite a bowling ball, to be fair. I but he's built like a staffy. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course, this whole body is just vaguely... You know, yeah, bulbous. Yeah, you know what I mean. I can't wait to get into that. And I've got the genes for it too. You know, whenever you get into that fat uh, build in your later years, where everything's hard, belly's hard, belly's hard, big, big hard belly, <laughs> big hard tits. That's how you know a man has lived a full life is whenever the belly's full and stuff. Yeah, you know, you go to head of head, you break your fucking wrist. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, you put you put an oil boy from Tyrone in the ring with a UFC fighter, and they try to give an uppercut to that belly. Yeah. Wrist coming off. It's like one of them water bags the boxing gyms have. Shattering. <laughs> Just goes nowhere. I, I was bu- uh, buying some boxing equipment online yesterday. Nice. I was telling him earlier, my Amazon basket looked like I was going to murder someone. <laughs> it was basically, because I've seen this video online where people were hanging their punch bags on a battle rope. So they put ho- hooks up and then hang the bag on a rope so that it's not like... Grrr. So I was like, I'll get some, this is what was in the basket, rope, those hook clips, like one of them carabiner things, oh, yeah. a packet of them, two rolls of duct tape, and boxing gloves. Yeah, they might sound like a warning somewhere. Stuck in the middle with, you know, tying some of their chair. <laughs> doosh, doosh, doosh. That'd be a good way to kill someone. Duct tape and ropes? If you were really, you know, instead of just going up and, you know, killing someone in their sleep, if you were feeling vengeful, mm. tying their chair, full boxing gloves, mouth guard. Beat the fuck out of them. Aye. Uh, but then they might kick in before you get them killed. Huh? But like the six punches on when you might go I know, but if you've gone the lengths of tan some day chair, uh, chances are you're not going to get sacked. Uh, like you, you can't be like, can you keep a secret? Yeah. You know what? I take it back. That's never happened. The 45 minutes of the hiding I give you there. Uh, anyway, happy new year. Um, big fat. Um, <laughs> 
we're, yeah, we're reckless. We're feeling. What they put in that rib? <laughs> in that what? In that rib? In that rib? <laughs> Steroids? Hennessy? <laughs> <laughs> Fill it off the Hennessy. <laughs> Were you on the Hennessy? You had a Hennessy in your Bailey's? No, I was filled off the brandy in the Bailey's. Is that not brandy? Hennessy? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I was filled off I was filled off the brandy and Bailey's, but rappers aren't drinking brandy and Bailey's. Like, no, brandy and Bailey's. <laughs> the two demographics for Hennessy. Rappers and Aldo's. Throne boys. <laughs> that is the fucking It thing. is rotten. Like, yeah. I don't care how many rappers holding their hands, it's fucking stinking. Uh, Maureen's Ma. Decided to do a bit of a display at Christmas mm -hmm. where she put out every bottle of gin that people have bought her for like the last 10 years. Nice. No one that she's, she's like, I haven't drank a gin in my life. Yeah. And there was like fucking 25 bottles of gin. That was baller as fuck. Yeah. But enough, like her uh, photo behind it. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you to the haters. Old niche one. Yeah. Keep buying it. The Those of you who my downfall, you lost. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> haven't touched it. Two bad lights. Coma. Comma any, toast? Any Bombay, any Bombay Sapphire in the mix? Oh, there was Bombay Sapphire, there was Ofer, there was Jawbox. There was, Jesus. It was quite a selection, like it was like a gin bar. Yeah. You had you had your standard Gordons, you had your Christmas edition Gordons. Mm. Any beef eater? There was a beef eater. That's a hearty one there now. Yeah, I, all she's missing from the selections that fucking, that Jamaican one that's like 60%. A beef eater reminds you that you're drinking alcohol with every sip. Yeah. You know, it'll hit you to the back of the throat every time. Did you buy a beef eater one time? Be like, I've Geez, consumed a beef eater doesn't before. Even doesn't even taste like beef? Nah. <laughs> Furious? <laughs> Not one note of a steak I was saying at all. Nah. Where were you drinking beef eater? Uh, was it with some chick? No, it wasn't even. You only drank the chick's drink? No, it was yeah, like... I'll a, take one of them too. It wasn't a pre-drink, to be fair. Aye. Yeah, it was like... I think actually Tim got it. Tim's a big gin man. I bet. And he loves a little gin. Wee glasses and all. Aye. Them fucking goblets. Gay! <laughs> uh, he's not a big drinker. No, no, he can... Half eat. a copper burger hey, he's fucking... No, he take you on. He's disabled. No, you know when, he's, I mean? when he switches it on, he's out for the night. Speaking of, speaking of boys taking taking boys on, that's the last time I go out drinking with them comedians. Why? They're, dr they're just drinking fucking pints of, I don't know, MMA knowledge. Oh, By the looks of it, getting all slobbering. Yeah. Boy, slobbering and, and fucking Apache pizza. I was like, I'm not here. I'm not going to clean up your mess here, boss. I know. The second I seen that happen, I put my arm around McCartney. And I goes, Mom, me and you do the Kremlin. <laughs> yeah. Me and McCartney had a great night. We'll go to the Kremlin where we're safe. We were going to go home. And then I was like, Mom, we'll go to the Kremlin. Bring McCartney in. Two of us go upstairs. Sorry, it was a beautiful sight. Because obviously they're just playing cheese pop. And like a Katy Perry song came on. And we're upstairs fucking giving it stacks. And every song came on, he was like, sir, this is fucking unreal. And I was like, I know. Let it take yeah. you over, lad. Let it take you over. Let it take you. Sniff this wee bottle. <laughs> I swear. I'm in that ass. I swear to God, someone did uh, give him poppers. Yeah. So these people that we were with, we were dancing with, by the way, Showtech came on and someone took a video upstairs of me just grabbing McCarney, waiting for the drop, just yeah. shaking him like a fucking dog. Yeah. And then someone gave him poppers and I seen him off and I, get that out of your fucking hand. Yeah. The fuck. And then he goes, what is it even doing? I was like, it widened your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need for that. <laughs> Wide enough. You'd be like, what? Well, one popper's tight in your asshole. I keep it clean for... Is this getting for pills? <laughs> <laughs> they just drop off. Tighten it so hard it falls out. They just fall out the bottom of your trousers. <laughs> like Shawshank Redemption. We had a night. We went to, we went to the Europa after. And uh, we stayed in the room and then just bought out of control, like rang room service and all. Aye, toasties. Rang room service. Nah, bro, Jameson and Ginger's. <laughs> rang down because the bar was closed, but they were still bringing Dunning up to the room. Mm -hmm. So we ordered uh, two Jameson Ginger's. The boy brought it down. The guy recognized the two of us. And so he brought him to the room and he's like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck's going on here, boys? And then uh, we were chatting away to him. You're like, stay professional. <laughs> and then McCartney goes, McCartney literally just goes, I'm fucking starving, sir. Is there any food to get nearby here or anything? And the guy goes, I can go down and make you a lock of turkey and ham sandwiches. And we were like, sir, absolutely. The night's saved. Yeah. This, this fucking absolute saint of a man went down and made turkey and ham sandwiches, a wee bowl of crisps. Brought us up to me and McCartney, two of us sat in bed. And I looked at him and I was like, lad, this is the fucking life. Eh? Oh, God. Were you there the night we were staying in the Europa and there'd, there'd been a function on or something? And a guy just walked over, like we were doing the sort of, you know, after bar type drinks. And the guy just came over with two silver platters of sandwiches. And we're just like, would anyone like a sandwich? No, that's unreal though. 
I think this was a similar thing. Christmas all over again. They had some kind of a function on, and the guy took whatever was left of the turkey and gammon, threw it into the locker sandwiches for us. You'll eat yourself dead if someone brings you like wake sandwiches. Oh when yeah, you're hammered. Platter of sandwiches. Like if some like if someone made you you know like twelve full sa- you know, like just cut diagonally sandwiches. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, oh, I couldn't eat all that. Mm-hmm. Cut them again the other way? Yeah. And they're wee triangle? It's like a pack of crisps. Oh, fuck me. They're all day. <laughs> do you like an egg sandwich? I do, eh? So do I. I do, eh? I. I love when someone dies and everyone's just after the We egg mayo. I just swoop in there. Ah! At the end. Oh, I... No one touched them egg ones? The egg ones are the bounty of, of the sandwiches, like. Yeah. You love both. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, you love a bounty, too. I do. I can't take that bounty now. Bounty and oh, my God, oh, my. oh here 15 egg sandwiches Then a bounty <laughs> What is this death row Roll me up and smoke me You know Class <laughs> We had We had Bro, You about. swallowed like that Bebo guy there What Is, there, is, any, <laughs> is anyone's internet Filled with like yeah. <laughs> Oh the guy who's like You stop about swallowing look, look up Bevo The death compilation Cause <laughs> People, he, he keeps like he just put like a fucking roast potato in his mouth and they go and like it, they'll zoom in on like Gah. I see the comments said uh, all them teeth but no chewing <laughs> <laughs> so, is this the one potatoes and you need <laughs> potatoes watch this watch this one two gulp big up subway this you, ne- you, you nearly need the one where it just goes like Gah. Bevo gulps down half the subway. Watch. Watch. Two, three, four. Great for a bit furry. He does this. He does that every time. See that? Like, yeah, ah! Yeah, I attend this, enjoy it. Apparently, I don't chew enough, but I don't need to chew. Watch. Chicken as well, yeah? Chicken. No chew needed. You don't need to chew your food. Sausage. Watch this. Down the hatch, like. Not bad again. It's, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's the review, but I know, after. But there's one where he, like, see that one where he just, he, he took like two bites of a fucking roast potato and then just Yeah. <laughs> like, right? He goes, he goes through the whole dinner going like, <laughs> rice potato, and he goes, and then he goes, well seasoned, seven out of 10. And then he goes to like the baby. <laughs> Well seasoned, seven out of ten. And not, it takes him like five minutes to go up around the whole. Yeah. He's like, "What's that? I forget the name of that Brussels sprout." Seven out of ten. The whole dinner, yeah. seven out of ten. The guy's giving a full bust face for every chew. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just two chews and a bust. <laughs> Is this man coming or did he just eat a roast potato? <laughs> but it's the it's the it's the fear in his eyes. Yeah. Like if I just grabbed you by the throat, I don't yeah. know where you go. <laughs> but every fuck go to an, go to that uh, that wee playlist again there to see go back and see if, if there's a video of them what's the one there, there's one where they the, there's like an edit where they keep going like and it goes in black and white every time he swallows <laughs> he's like here we go for us with tire when you just see when you see the death in his eyes for a second <laughs> What a weird flex, though. To be like, I don't even need it, you? I know there was some sort of science behind it. Like, he got in a fight and he hurt his jaw and then something to do with his back teeth or something. It looks like he's had pretty hectic veneer. I, I felt my nerves was like a fucking Get college. Fuck it, anyway, fuck it, anyway. Um, <laughs> two chews and a bust. <laughs> and I thought I didn't chew that much. His sh- Speaking of bags of spuds, his shits must just come out like... Oh, the full thing? You could put it back in the plate? Uh, do you know, you know, like when you put too much in a tumble dryer, yeah, and you're like, like yanking it out of the that door. That man could shit out a six piece fry. Oh god, two chews. Drinkers I'm watching, not being like, how much dick could you take down that neck? <laughs> I mean, judging by how he reacted to that one and a half of bodily, probably not that much. No. <laughs> Plus, he'd crank a teeth down until you lose your cock. What a long day, though. That's just him. You know, swerving death all day. Like, oh, why? What if you're half pissed and you're still like trying to fucking? Do you know what's wild, dangerous, fat? If you don't, if you don't uh, consume it properly, ice cream. See, hard ice cream. That's rough. That'll take your life from your fucking. It will. If you take ice cream out of the freezer and it's too hard and you swallow that, death. Just wait a wee minute. No, no. But if you don't, you know, 
if you're well, very it, keen for it. Yeah, but at least it melts. Uh, it has half a battered sausage side roads in his mouth. <laughs> My ma sometimes does that. What? My ma will eat chips and like I literally feel like I have to stay in the room to make sure she doesn't pass on. Because <laughs> she'll like eat chips, but she'll like she has a weird pattern of eating. Like some of them she'll like bite half of it. Yeah. And then like do that. That's safe. The odd time she'll take this big old fucking hang of a chip, throw it in her mouth, and then just sort of swirl about and then swallow it. And then she's like doing the same she's actually doing the same face as your man. She's like, but she holds her chest and she just goes <laughs> She's just getting like, well, you fucking ate that pro what are you doing that for? She's on death row or something's <laughs> dying for a chick. Get it into my body. <laughs> to be fair though, do you ever eat too fast or don't you enough? And then you feel it there and it's there until you take a drink? Maybe sometimes, you know. Like, you gotta wash it down with a bit of water. Yeah. Fuck, bring the body guy in out. I'll do a bit of chewing, like, I don't mind chewing my food. I don't they, mind eating like a normal person. They do say, though, uh, you know, to, for losing weight and stuff, you know, you chew as much as you can. Aye. And then, you know, you don't eat as much. There are some things <clears throat> that I've eaten that were supposed to be, like, healthy, and I've thought to myself, I'm so knackered eating this that I would just quit. Overnight oats. No overnight oats are good, like. No. Get them Rubens ones. Wheelie Bix is like that. But you don't, that's no, yeah. I'm talking about like. Like an effort to eat? Like you get like, a, you know, one of those someone's made like, oh, I've made like fucking protein balls. And you bite it and it's so chalky. Fuck that. And you're thing. like, you're, you're doing a beaver <laughs> one. <aren't you? laughs> then eventually you just go, go like, I'll just not eat this. Yeah. Because like eating a fucking handful of sand. Yeah. <laughs> It, I mean, fuck the internet anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Someone was talking about that girl that downs drinks. And I'm, you know, I'm sure she's good crack and all, but it's like, what she's we, great crack. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing bothering doing anything? I should have thought of that when I was in uni. You could do, like, you could do anything that was, you could be like, I'm fucking white boy, you know, like white boy, black booty. That's, that's your, that's your TikTok. And you just fucking wear a thong. And it starts with your ass and zooms out. You would be famous. World tour. You'd be, you'd be famous sold out. quicker doing that yeah. than you would stand up. Yeah. 100%. You know? What you know would I mean? yours be? This motherfucker can't eat, right? Famous. Yeah. That's it. What if, what if we had to get you famous tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Like worldwide fame. What would you do? Oh, well, you'd probably just be like, okay, what's his name? Martin something? Just eats his own shit in his garden. <laughs> remember, that video? remember that guy? <laughs> That guy's just. The guy's nah, doing, come on, we don't want to be doing that. The, the guy's doing like cameos, and he's like, "Oh, this one's for Tricia." Turns around, loaf of bread, <clears throat> curls one out, nah. slaps it together, eats it. No Lambo's worth eating your own yet for. No way. I don't know if he's Lambo. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he wasn't getting the views. He wasn't nah. getting the views. Not extreme enough, you know. <laughs> yeah. The world's too numb now. You eat a you eat a pile of shit, nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah, you that's know? right. <laughs> You know what I'd do? What? If I was if I was like your PR guy, uh, and I was like, right, we're getting you worldwide fame tomorrow, I'd just have you walk about in a nappy, <laughs> and we call you Big Baby Davy. That's not your name, but yeah. nobody needs to know that. Okay. I think that would take off. I mean, see the day after Boxing Day? <laughs> Probably needed a nappy. Big nappa. Baby Davy? <laughs> Probably needed a nappy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you turn around and look at the toilet bowl, you're like, is that gravy? And spuds. I'm telling you, Maureen's cousin, I think she used to work in the food business. She was working Nando's for a long time and then worked somewhere else. Yes. She makes the perfect, it's like stuffing and sausage meat. I mean like perfectly fucking rolled in like streaky bacon mm -hmm. and then like perfectly cooked where it doesn't bust out of it mm -hmm. and then she just lets it cool and does perfect little di like if you were in fucking like a michelin star restaurant and they did your christmas dinner they'd be like we have a roulade of you know fucking streaky bacon and whatever it was fucking goddamn perfect yes and i bevo them yeah absolutely bevo <laughs> them they were a no chew like golden hole i just put it out <laughs> 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 Fucking unbelievable. That was the best bet. <laughs> That's great. I don't know how she does it. Like, I, I tried it one year, and it all fucking busted out the side of it. Yeah. This is just perfectly... So this is like black belt pegs and blankets, what you're describing here? Well, it's the it's the biggest pig. Yeah. No, Well, what's a peg and a blanket? Sausage of a bacon? Yeah. No, this is this just is this stuffing, stuffing well. perfect fucking just log. Yeah. Give me that for Christmas. That's very horny now. Give me that. That's yeah. a luxury Christmas. It's brilliant. I didn't, I didn't fucking... I didn't, I didn't turn a hand. Did nothing. Yeah. 
Just walked in. It's great to get a dinner sat down. Sat down, fucking. Morning's uncle had the fucking <clears throat> the the tray that he was cooking the beef in. And he'd fucking had the, it over the gas the gas hob, putting his fucking stock into it, loosening it up, thickening it. Slug. Slug. Dirty slug. Dirty slug. I know. It was fucking. And he had another thing that was just like vegetables cooking, like a stock basically. Aye. That he would just he would just he would just loosen up the gravy on the pan. Yeah. Shocking. That's unreal. Shocking behavior. That's unreal. It was great. You don't sleep in the veg either. See the carrots in Brussels sprouts? Yeah. Well welcomed. I like it, yeah. On a I, tray I, full I, of meat. Brussels sprouts. <coughs> Got your breath. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bee would my own spit. <laughs> there was a... Um, <laughs> how long, uh, how, how long, long? many drinks I have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only trend like? The only trend like? How long until bee becomes like a rap lyric? Yeah. I bee with that pussy. <laughs> She beat with my dick <laughs> in the back of the sprinter. <laughs> Someone will make a beat out of it. <laughs> she beat with my dick in the back of the sprinter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gigs, hello? Hello? Beaver. Yeah, that's a gig yeah. line. Shite, but good. Beat with my dick in the back of the sprinter. <laughs> beat with my balls. I beat with that pussy. <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> Do grime artists say shorty Or is that an American thing They might do Yeah They might do What do they What do they say for Ladies Birds Grime artists But It's just not as Yeah Cotties Daughters Bunch of daughters In the back of the sprinter <laughs> Took daughter back to the crib Beaver that ass <laughs> Um Now you'd be concerned If you beaver that ass <laughs> You be able to ask me, like, you know what, she hear you? I be able to ask. <laughs> 34 minutes, do the list. Stop Sorry. talking about it. No, no, you want the list? Uh, uh, hey, listen, it's Fucking a year. Fucking creative master. It's a year in review, and uh, from a better and more uh, researched podcast, you've stolen the list. Yes. <laughs> what do you call the guy again, Chris? Modern Wisdom? That's his full name. Yeah. Chris Modern Wisdom. <laughs> That's his full name. Um, well, do, you is, have a, do you have a quote of the year? This is one of the questions. Do you have a quote of the year that you're going to... Okay, all right then. All this right, is then, one of the questions. Put, put a pound in the meter for that one. Best surprise of 2023. Uh, oh. Um, best surprise... Like if uh, probably probably the night we went down to Dublin, even though it wasn't really my surprise, I was like tagging along surprise. But if you told me at the start of the year that it was going to be anywhere involved with that, I would have been like fuck off. Well, it would have been a surprise because I, I called you that day. Yeah, we had to sort of. That's my answer for another question on this. But yeah, that was okay. Big surprise. What was your big surprise here? Gaza. Big. That was pretty. I'm trying to think. When I opened my phone, that guy got shot in the head in the car. That was a lot. <laughs> That was a lot. That one I was telling you about where the guy kills his <sighs> like ex-girlfriend's new partner and then, and then shoots himself in the head Aye. in front of the fruit stand? No way. Um, but actually, best surprise would have been like throwing on a show in Toronto only because my mates were out there and I wanted to do something different for St. Patrick's Week and it sold out. Wow. And I wasn't expecting that. That was a big surprise. Hashtag blast. Hashtag blast. Best meal, speaking of blast. Best Bevo of the year. Um, Top 10 Bevo's. Can you narrow it down? Just the best meal you've had this year. Jesus. How long have you got? <laughs> uh, uh, actual like meal meal. Mm -hmm. We went out for my dad's like fake retirement. Mm -hmm. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. Somewhere in Moira. Can't remember where it was. But it was some high end shit. Nice. Family was there. Celebration. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Pretty what was the actual food? What were we talking? Oh, you're talking fucking monkfish cheeks, you know, rolled in some sort of wild rice. Yes. Fried with some sort of Indian dip. Mm -hmm. uh, fucking, what else did I get? Some, there was some sort of soft beefy thing. I don't know. It was just great. Yeah. It was just a nice meal. Monkfish would be hard to beef uh, especially when it was rolled in the, the wild rice. Uh -huh. It'd be like beef on a fucking, <laughs> I don't know, it was a pineapple. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. 
but soft in the middle. Yes. You know what I mean? I like that. That was a good meal. That's a good meal. That was a good meal. Uh, was when we went for that monster Chinese, when like the English girls were over. Yes. And Ro was there. I would say that's my meal of the year. That was a fun meal, wasn't it? Any meal in Lee Garden is a meal of the Any year. Any meal with the middle of the table spins around and you can yeah. pick whatever you want. That's juicy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a big fan of that. Me and Eddie, one day, this is, this is a bit soft on it, like. I don't be afraid. Me and Eddie went out for a walk one day, uh, and it started raining, and I went to Chippy, and we had chips in the car. That's lovely. And I was telling him that he could kill the chips on the f fan on the car. And I turned the car, and, go, and he was like, eating the chips yeah. in front of a lake yeah. as the pish and rain came down. That was a beautiful moment. Yeah, and he went, oh my God, it's chickens, and it was a swan. Yeah. What a day. Car was stinking, never recovered. Yeah. Don't preload that by saying soft. That's a lovely thing. As if someone's going to go, it's fucking. Yeah, but everyone wants to hear, like, oh, yeah, what'd you go for? Noodles? Yeah. Somewhere cool. Yeah. No, I like that. Yeah, I'd say, <laughs> I would say Lee Garden. Coolest new experience. Oh. Boxing. Nice. Probably. Yeah. Nice. Not as completely shit at it as I thought it was going to be. Mm hmm. And. Although very tough, very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could uh, keep my toe dipped in that for forever. Yes. You know, even as a fitness thing, keep you sharp. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would say that was probably it. Also, uh, big live podcast at Waterfront. That's pretty cool. That was very cool. I feel like I have to go like actual and then like career and then family. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Keep it, keep it real. Nah, I'm just sitting you with the one for this one. I went to an aquarium for the first time this year. Full of shrooms. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just staring at a jellyfish. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, that's like an answer a 12 year old, 12 year old would A good get, 10 minutes staring at that jellyfish. It was unreal. Sober? No, it was off my head mushrooms. Uh -uh. But it was great. Favorite weekend? And you'd never been to like Explorers or anything? No. It? no? Never. Never. <sighs> You can't take these things for granted. There's a vlog there. The uh, boys had uh, explorers. Yeah. <laughs> Touch a fish. 3,000 Patreons. Yeah. <laughs> the boys are going to explore us. <laughs> we went that 3K. We yeah. got the boat. No. Aye. Favourite weekend? That's a tough one. Oh. Hmm. Events that happened on a weekend. Hmm. hmm. These are all these, you know, young professionals listening listening to that podcast that have weekends. Yeah. You know? I would say Peter's wedding. That was my favorite weekend. Nice. A lot of fun. Nice. What about you? I didn't enjoy it that much. <laughs> <laughs> weekend? I don't know. That's hard to fucking narrow down. I know. It? That's what I was I, thinking. I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't know. Odyssey? Huh? Odyssey? <laughs> no. Stressful. Okay. Anything like that's just, you know, high pressure work. Yeah, it is. You know, um, I don't know, I might try and organize something pretty last minute for the, this weekend, for New Year's. Nice. Because last year, New Year's, we went down to Seafield, mm -hmm. me and Maureen and, and Eddie. And went for a lovely dinner in a lovely restaurant and stayed in a wee apartment at this place. And that's the way to do New Year's. Yeah. You I have to isolate like, it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta isolate it. You gotta have people around you. You actually want to speak to. Going out for New Year's is a no, fucking nightmare. Fuck, fuck that. Absolute nightmare. Ten, nine, <laughs> nothing, nothing like a fucking soft cock after they had Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Lights come on. Take our drinks outside, please. Happy New Year. Stand on the pitch and cold. Yeah. Two minutes later. Fuck that. Favorite new city. One more time. Uh, Favourite new city? Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I've been in it. That, that, that's, that's part of my New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. Get out there. Do more stuff. I haven't been anywhere. Yeah. Have I been to a new city? I don't know. I don't think I've been to a new city this year. That's sad. Sad. Mine's on, Lulu. Did we go to Austin last year? Yeah. Last year, yeah. It was 2022? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even been to a new city. Sad. That's stupid. We'll be going to fucking. We'll be going to. Not, S not that you've been anywhere. Sydney or something? Question. Yes, we should. That'll be our favourite new city. Yeah. Three nights at the Opera House. <laughs> Up the Hoods. This is a weird favourite tour. Huh? What would that even mean? 
her. Let's get it. Um, <laughs> best sex. Or like Daft Punk, alive to her. <laughs> <laughs> what do they mean? Rory Gallagher, Irish to her. I don't know what that is, but best sex. <laughs> that actually is one of the questions, which is again, you know, anal. I don't know who's who else listening to us. Modern wisdom. I'd love, I'd love to know like who was riding all around them. Who was sitting around in like a serious, you know, podcast scenario? Because people probably answer that for real. Yeah, we were joking in the shop. I was like, my answer would be like, best sex would be like the, the that time. Yeah, the time it happened. That time. Shout out to that one girl, Lawson. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. The blue moon. The blue moon. <laughs> That's me drying out of 2025. Yeah. I don't want to see it. <clears throat> I don't want to see it. I've had my fill. My empty, the great empty of 2023. <laughs> the spring clear out, you know. Um, and then the last two are just music related. Favorite song, favorite concert. Favorite songs, interesting. <clears throat> because I was trying to put together my wee highlights of the year. Mm hmm. You're like, what's a song? You know, you need a song that's like it's tough. It hits the it hits it, it hits the mark, but like it has to be appropriate for the video. And it has popped up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get that later. You didn't snap, did you? No. Not yet. Uh pro probably Chasing Status, Bada Dan. Yeah, yeah. I've, heard, I've listened to it fifty thousand times. Yeah. I would say so. But it's hard to make a you know, reflective video. <laughs> That's like that. me with Paris Texas. Yeah. I tried it and I was like, this is fucking ADHD high. music. Yeah. I can't. It's all just like, yeah, it's ADHD music and then just photos of brunches. <laughs> <laughs> Walk with the rocket launcher. Yeah. Avocado on toast. Yeah. Video of my mom at a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it is. It's tough because <laughs> you got to try it. I don't even listen when pussy will speak. Unless you just fucking on a beach. <laughs> Favorite concert? Uh, been to none. I swear to God, it was the worst year. I've just worked all year. Yeah, I've done fuck all. Yeah. Did I go? Have I been to a concert? Uh, no, I haven't been to a concert. That's so sad. Did I go see Bronson this year? Or was that last year? <laughs> I think all our fun was had the year before. Yeah, I've done nothing this year. I swear to God, it's not, th th things are changing. We're hiring. I'm literally hiring staff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing to, t to do my job. Yeah. <laughs> I want. To, I just want to be a man of leisure. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Boring I, stuff. Like I want to. I want to be like at the house board. Yeah. Staring at a car, going like, "Wonder should I wrap this?" Yeah. You know things like that. Bo boring shit. Yeah. Should I repaint this room for the crack? Have you noticed as your purchases have gone down a bit <clears throat> this year because you've been so busy? So um, you don't tend to be bored. And it's all. It's all like. Uh, do you know, like the sort of impulse I need to feel something. <laughs> you know, yes. I need to, f I need to feel a wee bit of excitement purchases. Yes. You know, a lot of like new shoes for a gig or something like that. Mm. A lot of that shit. That's all right. A lot of cameras that I never use. That's a dead on purchase. Yeah, that's that's fine. How busy were you when you bought the car heart deck chair? <laughs> Pro probably. Um, I again, I probably bought it. When I was supposed to be doing something else, yeah, do you know, I'm going out to this garage here to do some work. Let me buy a two hundred pound deck chair <laughs> that is actually bent after me sitting on it once. <laughs> so you're a procrastination buyer, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I get that. Yeah, I do. Or I fall completely for sales tactics. Yes. Oh, this watch site has a sale on. Let me buy another watch. Yeah, there's forty quite often. I right. get on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll make. I'll get that money back. Yeah, sent on the shelf here. Yeah, you know. Uh, what were the final questions there? Oh, the last one. Have you got a favorite? Song you got or? one. Yeah, Lana Del Rey by Paris Texas. Favorite concert was Camp Flog. Now, it was amazing. So many words there. And then the last one. I don't have one for this, but you did at the start. Favorite quote. Favorite quote. Uh, I heard one. It sort. It replies to a lot of things. Whether. This one, I've heard. I've heard people use it when they're talking about parenting. I've heard people use it when they're talking about fitness. I've heard people you just load of stuff. Pay now or pay later. Yeah. Put the effort in now. Yeah. Or do it later. Yeah. Basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, because you can't clarn out diabetes. No. That's got one. Pay it off in three payments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's a good quote, though. It it's, is. it's simple, but it kind of applies to a lot of things. Yeah. You know? You know, it's usually like, do the hard work now, or the... Sorry, a dead body just fell through the roof. Uh, <laughs> Or, uh, what are they doing next door? Yeah, or pay, you know, the regret later on. Later yeah. On. No, I get that. What, what was that Teddy Atlas fucking quote? Regret is a solitary punishment or something? Mine's is, fuck all that, USA and Lizzo. Who said that again? Derek Lewis. Yeah. Don't try and me yesterday. <laughs> Beat this Russian's ass. <laughs> fuck that, USA and Lizzo. <laughs> I would, I would, if he did cameo, I'd, I'd get him to go fuck up Bomb Squad in this hoe. Yeah. Fuck that Bomb Squad in this hoe. Yeah. That was great. Do you have any real quotes? No. I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of, my timeline hasn't really been that mad with the quotes this year. Just murders? Just a lot of murders. Just a lot of murders. And the death. Twitter feeds, I just, ah. I'm, I'm away from it. It's like live leak now. Oh, God. There's no need for it. Twitter right now is full of videos that like, you know, <clears> your <throat> mate that, Definitely tortures like cats would show you in his phone. Oh yeah. So no. Yeah, no more like, Twitter. Like the comedians group chat was for a while. Yeah. Like, yeah, like the look. Like, just, just open the phone. Two, one. Nah, there's no need for that. How are you supposed to have granola after saying that? I know. Man blows his face off. Yeah. I mean, yep. Plenty your of that media shit. diet is as important as your actual diet. No, it's not. But anyway. <laughs> I mean, I mean, sometimes it pays off, you know, as in <laughs> this guy jumps in a lake, shites at the same time. <laughs> yeah, this, see the difference in reaction there? That's the kind of stuff you need. In the That's the lighthearted stuff. He jumps you know. in the lake. We don't really be seeing a man blowing his face off with a rocket launcher. You'll see him blow his ass out over a lake. Yeah. <laughs> the timing of that, though. It's very impressive. Like he's held, he's held the shit. The whole way to the top of the mountain there. Yeah, and it's a number six too for anyone wondering. <laughs> yeah, Pure, it, was, it was a straight six. Yeah, just an espresso <laughs> shot came out of this man's ass. <laughs> imagine in zero gravity. Imagine holding a cup of gravy and just going. Literally, that's what that happened. Was his ass. It and was like a cheap. hot chocolate that had been sitting. And I, I, you know, I feel better after watching that. Yes, exactly. You know, the guy blowing his head off the rocket launcher. Not into it. Well, you're just backing up my point. I love you know the two of us just sitting here like. Fat as all fuck in two years, being like the social media that is as a podcast of <laughs> that. Yeah, what do you think of his? Yeah, I'm, I'm like saying it while I've lost a foot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're scrolling with one toe. Yeah, <laughs> hey, now that's an idea. The toe scroller. <laughs> Don't fuck it out. Use it. Well, there are videos of people, you know, like have no arms and they just do everything with their feet. Oh, why? And they're like driving the car, you know, doing donuts. Doing oil paint. Your man Bevo would be good with no arms. Oh. He'd be driving the car with a with yeah. a mouth. They're like, do you want me to cut this up for you, mate? Like, nah, it's all right, mate. Yeah. Don't matter. <laughs> um <laughs> You might have peeped this uh, bomb squad cup, my guys. Peep away. <laughs> They'll be on sale one day. Don't worry about it. Keep peeping. <laughs> Keep peeping. Keep peeping. 2024. We dotes. We shade too. What are we at? 2024. What are we at in 2024? Let's just go to Sydney, do the Opera House. Sydney. <laughs> Make a documentary, sell the vase. I said it before the podcast, Lambo. I swear to God, I'll go on stage with a dead stingray. Yeah. I swear to God. I'll go on, on, on stage in a fucking stingray coat. Yeah. That I've had made. R.I.P. Steve. R.I.P. Steve. Can I get a snapback with corks hanging off it? <laughs> That'd be, I would like that. Yeah. Keep the flies off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, flies, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was like something Kanye would wear. Yeah, to keep the flies away. Kanye dresses like me now when I like answer the door to an Amazon guy. Yeah. You know, and you've just been, you wake up, get up with Eddie, give him some Weetabix, and all I have on is like a, like a shitty oversized T-shirt. Yeah. Old sweatpants. Yeah. And just socks pulled up over the sweatpants. Yeah. That's Kanye now, drop an album. That is true. Like when you're at the house doing fuck all, it is like a easy fashion show. Yeah. You got the oversized, the sweatpants. Not grey, of course, because I'm not fooling anybody with that. Uh, navy. It's a good colour for me in the sweatpants department. Na navy or black? Navy. I'd love to be one of those cool guys could wear like, you know, like a sort of puffy pair of sweatpants, you know, with the nice socks and a nice pair of New Balance. Mm -hmm. And it'd actually be like a, like a stylish thing. Yeah, aesthetically pleasing. But you have to be thin. You do. You have to be thin. It's like a guy I was telling you about the airport. 
and he had a, yeah. the white t-shirt tucked into the brown chinos. Yeah. I'll never be that. No. Nah. That's nah, like a shelf. No. You know, you can't do it. Like, I've seen guys wearing, like, you know, the rolled up beanie. They've got, like, a hoodie on. They've got a denim jacket over mm -hmm. the hoodie. They've got, like, the puffy sweatpants, the white socks, and then maybe even, like, a slider. Maybe, like, a Birkenstock. And you're like, man, this guy kind of looks cool. Yeah. And if I look like that, you'd be like, who's this fat tramp? Yeah. Walking about here. Yeah. That's the best. That's the best. What's your thoughts on the condom beanies? You like them? Not for me. I feel like you need a bit of hair. Yeah. That's what any beanie looks like at me. Yeah. The Tate? Yeah. The Tate beanie? <laughs> Don't turn any beanie. I thought, you were just gonna, I thought you were just going to be like, what's your thought on condoms? <laughs> Like them, love them. Like them. Hate them. Take them or leave them. Do about them. <laughs> uh, not a fan. Uh, of doms? Uh, sure is. Woof. Woof. <laughs> All night like Woof. I sent a voice note to Keezy yesterday because mm. he, uh, he was on the pints. Uh, or no, sorry, two days ago for Boxing Day. He was right. on the pints, put a picture of a pint. I just sent him a voice note of me woofing for 20 seconds. I said, I sent him a message to you. I was like, get it into you. And then he, he wrote back, uh, you're only 25 minutes away. <laughs> uh, it's out of them eyes. <laughs> I, I should have just dropped everything. Yeah. Eddie, go to your mother. Just want the rep? In the car. <laughs> 18 pints of tenants later, bleeding out my ass. Did you get your fill in terms of the rep over the Christmas period? Yeah. Where could you go again? Uh, depends. Well, we, we went on the rep after that Lavery's. Mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty gross. And then I was dying the next day. Uh, and then what else? Boxing Day was a big rep, but I, I, it's not the same. Every time I drink now, I'm like, what the fuck was the point of that? Well, it has to be the right night. Yeah, we'll have to move on to drugs or something. No. Mushrooms or something? Aye. Aye. Now we're talking. We'll get you on there. That's right. 2024, 2024 Sydney, mushrooms. mushrooms in Sydney. <laughs> no, nah, we'll and then Austin, we'll have to go there as well. Yeah. Uh, we'll work that around Shane Todd's tour. Um, see if Niall can go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping going. Where's the meow? Uh, Austin. Mm. Get this viral. Nice. <laughs> Let it go, man. Sh shut up, bitch. Today's not our day. Uh, mushrooms, Austin, New York. What else? Dun, dun, what else, man? Huh? Aquarium. Aquarium. <laughs> it is a great time. I don't give a fuck what you say. Uh, um, tour four four specials. I'm doing an Irish tour here. This nice. I'll post about that, guys. If you're on my Instagram, I'll post about my Irish tour. This nice. hitting up all the hot spots. Limerick. Announce it with a picture of your child. That's how yeah. You do that's it. the way to do it. Yeah. Engagement. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Flogging my child. For, uh, <laughs> look how cute this little boy is. Come see me talk about him. Yeah. Pissing. When does your Irish tour start? First of March. Nice. Yeah, don't ask me where, but um, yeah, I've done the standard Irish tour poster. We have to do Glasgow as well because they're going to start coming for us now. Oh, yeah, they're like, going to get yeah, they're, the doors down. They're going to get on that Stana line mm. and be like, get to fucking <laughs> Glasgow, you <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I've organized it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the, the tour manager in this trail. Where? I'll sort it. Kings Theatre? O2 Academy. <laughs> nice. I think. I think last time I was in that was the night the helicopter crashed in the middle of fucking Glasgow. Nice. No. <laughs> nice. It was a fucking tragedy. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was a strange air about the place. I dare say so. Uh, Wait, was this your own show or were you going to see a show? No, I was going to see Bill Burr. Ah, okay. Did he reference it? Uh, I can't remember. I don't think so. Probably probably best not to. Uh, a bit raw. A bit raw. I mean, like the day of. Like, yeah. The day of. Uh, uh, rare. Yeah, I didn't mention it. Uh, that was their 9-11. Um, what else is on the list for 2024? Waterfront. Waterfront. That's happening. We're going to launch that. That's a secret. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, we're going to catch you off guard. <laughs> catch you. You forget about it, and then it'll be back. Uh, uh, what else, man? Uh, professional boxing match, pro boxing. <laughs> what do you, what's something you want to try new in 2024? I would like to get back into me judoka days, but I don't know if I would do judo again. Maybe either judo or jujitsu. 
I'd like to get back into it. I'd just like to have something that's outside of stand up that I can go to regularly. Yeah. You know? Then you'll be like, I'm working on a BJJ shop. Can't record tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to an open mat fucking for seven hours of my <laughs> cauliflower ears now. Oh, that would be good for me. No. It's the last thing you need. Cauliflower cheese. Cauliflower head. <laughs> <laughs> Some floor. Hey, um what? <laughs> no, I'll be getting my visa as well, hopefully. So we'll be able to, you know. Yeah, there'll be a lot of a lot of vlog footage and a lot of fuck it about. A lot of no look selfies in uh in New York. Yeah. When we come to visit. Yeah. You know, candid photos. No, that's never happened then. Just eating a fucking the no look pastrami sandwich. Oh yeah. Candid. If I go to New York I'm dressing like sort of you know, like uh prime diplomats. Yes. That's what I'm dressing like. Yeah. Big red fucking leather jacket. Tim's not tied. Bandanas just Rick Ross fit in that video was very like that. Bandanas just sitting on my head. Loose. Yeah. Dips it. Get the bucket hats out for it. Come yeah. down with the bucket hat. Yeah. Pink Range Rover. Yeah. It's pretty badass. New experiences for me. Mushrooms, new car. Yeah. Not at the same time. But then you may take the mushrooms and go out. What do I even need a car for? Pick a new up. Using materialistic things. Pick a new up. With 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 texts like BTW guys, I have the flu. I'll see you at eleven. <laughs> pick well, me that was that was an opportunity. Me pick me up. I have the flu. That was an opportunity for you to go auction leave it. But you never did. You hungry bastards. <laughs> listen, have missed the day. Yep. Listen, pay now or pay later. <laughs> Flu. Either do it the fucking today or some other time when it can't be home. No, nah, I was self inflicted. I hit the bellies too hard. That's not the flu, though. That's no, it's called being down. Let me tell you something. Have you seen the gunk that was in the tissues I had earlier? You'd argue differently. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the flu in your dick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> flu dog. That's the only place it hasn't affected, thank God. <laughs> Jesus, I'm well stuffy. I'm a piss hole. Getting soda fed for my pesser. Uh, oh, that's, oh, fuck, actually, right enough. No, you said I need to take a ibuprofen. I seen a, a video online the other day, and it was like, well, here's, the guy, here's a guide to snot colours. And it was basically someone mixing up snot colours, going like, oh, you're on a period pain once. They're the, the good ones. They're the good ones. Cuprofen. Jesus. <laughs> that's, like, that's like what a doctor gives you. Yeah, yeah, you I could think. definitely sell it to a guy at a shiny of like. Yeah. Uh, do you want one smarty? <laughs> Money dropping smarties. Do you know why Bruffin will do nothing to you? It's just a painkiller. Huh? Just oh, my head's busting, do. Oh, is it? All that, all that fucking bailings. <laughs> <laughs> what a c to ever made up that. You know what that is? What yeah. a small smile. <laughs> yeah. I suck my dick. Fuck, fuck, yeah. Fuck off. That gets thrown about a lot. Aye. In our house. Any sort of complaint at all. You should have bevoed that tablet. <laughs> yeah, I fucking bevo that sticky toffee pudding. How many? Does that taste? I couldn't chew it. How many bevo faces did uh, you got in Austin see off you that time? <laughs> Seven out of ten. <laughs> One out of six. Two out of six. Three out of six. <laughs> the last one must have just whistled. No, that was more of a beavis. I was just <laughs> laughing the whole time. <laughs> In her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe my luck. I think that's a nail house sex. <laughs> he, he, someone, <laughs> so, <laughs> someone, you've been you, you've been hit with a beavis and butthead laugh oh, a yeah. few times every in the com yeah, in the comments. <laughs> oh, see, I heard him there. You got you got a wee bit ratty there. Oh, this is every Christmas day at workplace. Sorry, right, Niall. Fucking, I have the worst laugh of all time, so don't worry about it. We're in different ends of the spectrum. Yeah. There's no such thing as a bad laugh. Hi. 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 Here. Jesus you have an MC Lavery's. Awesome. There's a girl in the front row of Lavery's there before Christmas, and she was like, <laughs> and everybody was like, are you okay? <laughs> and her husband was like sitting, you know, like it was like her and then two other guys and then her husband. And then yeah. it turned out he was my turn. I was like, we're not sitting beside her. He's like, fuck, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> how does a laugh come about? You know, like how, how are they all so different? I don't know. You know, 
Don't know. Some people do have annoying laughs, though. Yeah. Like Jimmy Carr or something like that. You're like, yeah. Shut the fuck up, will you? Yeah, how does it uh, like. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's very silly ask. It's in the way. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, my favorite is the is the vibrate laugh where there's no sound; it's just pure mute. Yeah, and they're just. I mean, when you when you really lose it, like you will just go sort of silent and, yeah. and red. I will hold the chest like an outlaw. Yeah, you know. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> or do you ever like like a big pa? Like one of them ones, whenever someone catches you off guard, and before the actual laugh comes, you go pa. <laughs> Sometimes I got there. Sometimes. That's a fun one. Yeah. Or the, you do get the actual, like I've had a few, even doing this, where it's the actual he- the head hurts. Like, yeah. Like you get a pain to your head. Yeah. So the sad thing about me is the only time I laugh like that is if I'm like in bed watching a TikTok and it's like so, like a baby being sick. Yeah. Or something. And I'll just. Like, yeah, you yeah. love a sick baby. Oh, dang. Or babies laughing is funny too. That's like me for people falling over, but, you know, very particular age bracket. Uh, Eddie's laugh is great. It's yeah. great, great make your own kid laugh. But the, the other night he was trying to get trying to get him to bed, very cranky, and uh, couldn't get him changed, washed, brushed teeth, and all. He's like, yeah, no man. It's kind of like a fake cry. Yeah. And then we sat him down. He's got like a wee step, you know, for the sink, and, but it you know, doubles up as a seat. And he sat down on it, and Moe was like, brush your teeth, and he's like, no. And then he just went <laughs> massive fart lost that laughing yeah it would just give him like a new lease of life couldn't yeah. get him to bed for like two hours yeah he, every it's time great. he thought about it he was like i did a <laughs> and then he just like start laughing again but the guy ripped an absolute fucking <laughs> hater hater dom played a wild prank on me through, through a right. nappy do you have spotify uh, on this no um i took it off dom played a wild wild prank on me mm. yesterday and so after i finished the vape shop he picked me up we went to KFC, uh, and you he goes. Your dates, man. And he goes, go on, go on. You order there. So he drove. I thought it maybe he had a bit of like anxiety for order or something. So yeah. I was like, all right, no worries. And I was like, what do you want? He gave me his order, and then we get to the wee box, the wee voice box, and um, <laughs> he, I, I start calling it the order. This guy goes onto the Bluetooth in his car and plays a ten-hour fart compilation whilst I'm ordering the KFC. But it caught me so off guard that I was like going to order and all I could hear was these like rippers one after the other. And so I'm ordering, I'm like, can I have a bonus banquet? And then there's this one. This is playing. So I'm going, can I have a bonus banquet with uh, gravy, Fanta? And then what do you want? Mighty bucket for one. Um, oh, can I get a crush him as well? And I turned around him and I was like, you fucking bastard. <laughs> and then I was like, joke's on you. She'll probably think you're the one that ordered. So she'll think you're a gassy cunt, <laughs> yeah. you know? But I was like, he did get me well there now. Yeah. That's old school banter. That yeah, that is. I did that the other day. We were in the car, me, Maureen, Eddie, and Maureen's cousins. These wee girls, about 13, 15, 14 or something. And I, I was just jumping out of the house and they were going on somewhere else. And I was still connected to the Bluetooth. I did the same. I went in the house and put the farts on. And then poke my head back like that. <laughs> Did I get you? What's unfortunate though is we kept it playing after, and the amount of times we laughed per like you know minute was insane. It's funny, like. Did we play the old boy farting on the last podcast? No, what was that? Did we play that now? I, yeah. I was drunk as a motherfucker. Uh, let me see. You must get to ah, a certain age where just like, the you know. The fart take, you know, you don't do the fart. The fart does you yeah. type of thing. You know, you don't move a lot. And then you're like. <laughs> Here we go. Clops. This will set us up for 2024. And then we'll slide up in that Patreon up in this house. Go on then. Get it. 7.30 report. And <laughs> <laughs> I like how, how you like res with it. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, yeah, that's a different type of res. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, he didn't go like he, that was what the fart took him. 
Yeah. You know, he was just, he didn't go like, oh, I need a fart. Hold on. Nah. He just like tapped them over. Oh, at that point, you're a puppet for it's your like, own anyway, We went into the foxhole and shot some. <laughs> 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 we had a whole family tied up by the arms in Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, you can't go back to whatever you were talking about after that. <laughs> no, no. You gotta go make something. <laughs> Anyone want coffee? Oh, Jesus. Uh, will we do a Patreon? Aye. Have we done enough time, Wazer? Because I don't know where to cut it a wee bit. Yeah. Aye. No. It's starting a new year. It's a nice, easy glide into the 2024. Boys are chilled out today. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let her take you. COVID-2024. Yeah. Um, Don't even say that. Uh, <laughs> right, we're going to get yourselves onto the Patreon, my guys. Uh, you know, it's going to be an exciting time over the next while. Live yeah. podcasts, all that good stuff. Exclusive um, tickets for all these exciting shows coming tickets. up. Exclusive tickets. You fucking name it, bro. You know. You couldn't beat it. it oh, it's like a drum on both sides. Couldn't beat it. Yep. Yeah. Read that in a cracker this year. Motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> anything else? That's pretty much it. Thanks for a fucking mighty year, folks. We'll see you next week. Next week? Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Keep the wheels turning. Let's do it, guys. Random button check. <laughs> Good luck on Foggies. 2024. Drop, 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 drop.